All right, guys, we're just here on a ledge. We're looking for a old World War II German bunker. It's supposedly it's somewhere, somewhere on the ledge of this little island. Um, tried this one, tried this place, but this didn't work. Let me show you what it kind of looks like. It's still kind of cool. So here we found this. Oh shit, I kind of see something up there. I don't know if that's part of the house. Huh? Okay, as you can see, this is a some sort of structure. This might be uh maybe this is what they used to cover the cannons as they overlook the the fjord right there. But let's go to a different place and see if we can find our bunker there. All right, so we're scaling this this street from Ramsoy, little island city here in western Norway, and we're t making our way to the Ramsoy. Um, fortress and I believe this was heavily used during World War II by the Germans so let's go check it out all right I think I think we are on the right track as you can see a beautiful little walk here so sort of right next to the people's houses oh I think we found it I think we found it let's go check it out wow Oh my god so we did find the bunker this is so cool so this is the place that german used to house their machine guns that would then overlook this fjord and you know basically protect it from any any incoming um ships so um why don't we take a look at it and go inside and experience it explore it together for the first time look at that look at this a real world war ii german bunker here on the hills of norway Look at that, you have a little window. This is of course where the uh, where the machine gun would be ho hosted up to. And he would just shoot right there. You could, you, know, you can imagine the eyes of a German soldier staring through there, anxiously inspecting the uh, the horizon. Okay, you can, you can just kind of see how sturdy this thing is. This is really neat. All right. We should uh let's go in let's go see what's what's it like inside like i've never been here before so I'll give you an example of what it looks like okay so first thing it's it's very short so you gotta duck your head in here oh, okay oh, okay okay we made it through not a short guy so it's not easy oh man okay i might need to put a light on this video Okay. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> this is neat. Look at this. Here we are in the middle of the German bunker. There's nothing here. There's no supervision. So this is completely wild exploration. Here you go. Here's the, the window as it looks. Oh man. <laughs> Whew, okay. Okay, let's let's keep going. Fuck. This is a this is spooky, you know, you never know what you're gonna see. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Wow, look how deep this thing goes. Wow. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Wow. It's made out of wood. Solid metal. Oh. oh, look at that. There's a stairway leading up. Okay. I don't know how safe this is, but we're going up. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, oh look at that. Whoa, this is a massive complex. This is so neat, boys. Wow. Okay, there's another ladder going up there. We'll see what's like there. Okay, it's very, it's very narrow here, but oh, okay. Wow. Would you look at that? 
a little wet on the ground, so watch your step. But, ooh, what is this? Oh my God. Wow, look at this. The Overlook Tower. So, if you ever played uh, Call of Duty or Medal of Honor, you'll be familiar, familiar with places like these. They would be sort of the watchtower and the and would also serve for the place the Germans to place their the machine guns right up here. And look how great of a visibility it gives you. You can see everything outside. You can see the fjord, the nearby mountains, right? And and, and this is these this the strips of uh, space are on all three sides of this bunker's tower. So here we are in the main lookout of this bunker's tower. Wow, this is so neat. Can't believe it's just here. And uh, anybody's welcome to look at it. Okay, let's go further and explore the other stuff. Okay. All right, we're going down from the German tower here. As I said, watch your step. It's really wet. Okay. So you can just imagine the the garrison based here, you know, some of these places would be living quarters. What is this? Let's take a closer look. What is this? This is, uh, oh man, I don't know. Some kind of, uh, oh, probably some kind of control panel was here. Everything is built quite well, I have to say. It's a very sturdy place and you can see, you can see how even more than 75 years on. It is an impressive, impressive construction. Anything cool there, boys? Yeah, another observation. Oh, oh fuck. Be careful for all this rusted wire everywhere. It's not good. Don't step on that. Okay, I'm gonna but it's cool there. keep on walking. So here you see you can have a little clearing and then you would go in the next next room see there's rusty wire everywhere on the floor so i'm just gonna adjust my watch but oh nice look at this and here you have little steps made out of wire and then again as you come up it's very very short entrance here's another lookout thing so this would give you visibility from Another side. Look at that. You really have 360 degrees surveillance of this fort, which will make it almost impeccable from an ambush point of view. And the and the visibility is just fantastic. Okay, let's go explore a little bit more. So there you go, this is what it would look from outside. As you see, it would be nicely grass overgrown, so you wouldn't really see it from above for the air raids. All right, and I'm here with my buddy Ben, who's a historical professional at War II and Civil War American history period. But Ben, tell us a little bit more about this place and just in general, what we're looking at. So this is pretty cool. This is part of the, uh, what was the Atlantic Wall, which was like basically from all the way north of Norway down to, uh, all of the coast of France pretty much uh, defending pretty much from anywhere of allied invasion because as good as German intelligence was no one ever quite knew where the spot was going to be so this was just one of the encampments now I don't know if this one specifically ever shot at anyone um didn't come all the way up here but this is part of like Festung Norwegian they call it Fortress Norway and uh ironically a lot of the German commanders thought that like Norway would be their last stand and you can see it's like it would be impossible to uh to penetrate, uh, took a lot of the troops, sent a lot of troops here and obviously took them away from Europe, which made them lose faster. But anyways, this whole area, there's a bunker complex further up and an airfield further up and um, the Americans would have bombed this area in probably 1943. So it'd be pretty easy life being a German stationed here, but you never know. Based. Okay guys, so here we are. We're sitting at the very top of a Nazi bunker. How cool is that? Look at this, overlooking a beautiful fjord behind us. And if you look down, I'm literally standing on the roof, on the roof of the one of the watchtowers. You can still see the old 
Nazi steel. And here you have the ventilation, ventilation ports. Maybe this is a for a quick exit right here, right? But here you go. This is a this is the roof of one of these towers. You can see how how thick the mantle is, right? So this would withstand a bombing, and yeah, like this is a view just from up up here. There you go, multiple multiple bunker uh, parts. Yes, so you would have. Nazis literally living and fighting here maybe and uh, well protecting well overlooking not really protecting but uh, while occupying this beautiful land okay let's make our way down I don't think I'm gonna go inside again because we've already kind of seen it I want to see it from the outside and check out how how it looked. Here's another another roof. This one is quite cool. Look at this little little ventilation. See? Here you go. Another ventilation portal. You know, makes you makes you wonder how much how much workforce was needed to build something like this. And in the very short time that they had after they occupied Norway. It's quite impressive. It's really well built, you know, evened out structures that would withstand the, uh, the bombardment of the Allied forces. Wow, look at that. Yeah, and th this is right there is where we walked in. It's a little doorway that we used to enter. So we walked inside this little mountain hill. You know, one thing that is a little bit impressive is how when we were checking into the, our little island hotel, the owner said, yeah, definitely uh, check it out. It's a old German bunker. Uh, it's not manned. There's no staff here. There's no upkeep of this place. He said but you know if you take a flashlight you can sort of walk around and that's exactly what we did but i like this approach where you know this is not a this is not a uh, part of history that should be celebrated yet this is a part of history so it's still there still here you can still see it you can still learn from it experience it but you don't necessarily uh, you know spend the funds to upkeep something like this so i like this approach where you keep it there but you don't you don't really celebrate it. I like this. Here you go. Look at this. This is a beautiful view. There's there's the watchtower there. There's the entrance down there. You can imagine how difficult it would be to storm something like this. And it's a real wonder why the Germans, after building all of this, didn't make it one of their last strongholds. Like they initially they planned it, but that plan came through fell through and uh and here we are have these structures here that probably wasn't weren't used that that heavily and here we are another roof of the, of the bunker so all right cool you know you can just imagine a nazi officer standing here in the morning maybe ha having his coffee and uh maybe having a little german smoke little German tobacco, you know, maybe scheming plans, you know. And right here, I, I'm not sure what this is, but look at this. Tell me if I'm wrong. There's a hole right here. And perhaps this is where they would hoist the Nazi flag. So, you know, as you're, as you, as you're sailing into the fjord, this right here might have been a, where the pole of a Nazi flag would fly in the air notify the incomer that this was an occupied nazi territory how cool is that what a and famous and amazing part of history all right let's make our way down there we are so here we have a little little structures just protecting 
maybe the soldiers that stood right here. There's another entrance to the little bunker right there, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's blocked off. So let's keep going and see what's around it. Oh, oh look at this. This is, this is something you don't see every day. We have a playground. <laughs> we have a playground right next to the bunker. Look at that. That is impressive. Here we go. Here's a little, here's a little picnic area. I don't know if this was here back then, but, but there you are. It's a whole complex. As you see, the whole ridge of the mountain is made into these little, little bunkers everywhere. Look at this. There's another one here. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, oh, nothing. okay, there's nothing in here, there is nothing in here, so this is, this would probably be something that you would run, you would probably run to if a sudden bombardment started, you would just sort of slip in here and cover and protect your life, save your life, all right, let's walk out of here, okay, oh, there we go, a little more dugouts. Maybe it's already been filled by, by land. More dugouts. More, oh, this one has stairs. So look, they actually made stairs. Okay, let's see what's here. Ooh, yeah, again, nothing here. Just a little, just a little shelter from the bombs. Nothing big. But look at this, how cool is that? So you maybe have a little picnic here. Maybe this is where the officers would have their daily lunch. You know, you could overlook everything. Maybe maybe this is where the some of the cannons would be placed. And look at that. It keeps on going and going. There's more, more dugouts and little tunnels, little bunkers out there too. Yeah, looking on the rocks, you can still see these hooks. So I wonder what this was used for. Maybe, maybe to fasten the, the cannons or guns to this ridge. What a, what a point to control. <laughs> imagine, imagine, uh, imagine uh, trying to conquer this. Allies would have had a big, big problem if they had to uh, try to smoke Germans out of this place. Yeah, wow. You know, I just wanted to reflect on something that I found interesting. You know, this this little pr playground right here. Well, it's not much of a playground. It's more of a little child slide. But how symbolical is this? You know, here we stand at a place where Nazis literally had their fortification in the occupied Norway. This, the regime that ha has brought so much death and destructions. You know, we have more than what probably more than 50 million people dying from this conflict the evil that it created is uh is indescribable and the pain that it cost people um it can never be expressed right in the words but yet you know as a blossom on on top of this grave we have a playground so to me that symbolizes that you know even even in our darkest hours as, as humans there's still hope so in the end there's still hope and there's 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 always a promise of a better life and things will get better and they did get better so there you are and here is a uh, romsoy the town that where the bunker was located you can see how beautiful it is it's just a little tiny little island town the streets are one one car long uh, wide uh, and uh, yeah it's a it's a beautiful quiet life here you know this sort of reminds you of a PI you know sort of something that we would have in Canada you have the stones integrated with the the mountain stones integrated with the houses and houses are beautifully col colored with 
red roofs and yellow walls. And here you have the reminiscence, of course, of the bunker system. You know, again, here you have, here you have a little playground and what appears to be, maybe this is where the wires would go in inside the bunker, powering it all up, or maybe where the exhaust system would come out. Who knows? Here we are. This is the, this is a little hotel that I, I told you about. This is where we stayed. Lavoie Frasener. If you have a chance, check, take a stop. Look how, look how awesome this place is. And not too expensive. And the owner, Danielle, is very, very nice. He'll take you out fishing, show you all the great fishing spots, and even give you some fishing rods if you don't have any. But of course, when you're driving through Norway, always, always, always be aware of Fartshopper. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> 